wild beasts will not destroy. December 29th, I hath not seen nor ear heard. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 25. Then we entered a field full of all kinds of beasts, the lion, the lamb, the leopard, and the wolf, all together in perfect union. We passed through the midst of them, and they followed unpeaceably after. Then we entered a wood, not like the dark woods we have here. No, no, but light, and all over glorious. The branches of the trees waved to and fro, and we all cried out, we will dwell safely in the wilderness, and sleep in the woods. We passed through the woods, for we were on our way to Mount Zion. As we were traveling along, we met a company who also were gazing at the glories of the place. I noticed red as a border on their garments, their crowns were brilliant, their robes were pure white. As we greeted them, I asked Jesus who they were. He said they were martyrs that had been slain for him. With them was an innumerable company of little ones, they also had a hem of red on their garments. Mount Zion was just before us, and on the mount was a glorious temple, and about it were seven other mountains, on which grew roses and lilies. And I saw the little ones climb, or, if they chose, use their little wings and fly to the top of the mountains, and pluck the never-fading flowers. There were all kinds of trees around the temple to beautify the place, the box, the pine, the fir, the oil, the myrtle, the pomegranate, and the fig tree bowed down with the weight of its timely figs. These made the place all over glorious. And I saw a table of pure silver. It was many miles in length, yet our eyes could extend over it. Early Writings, 18, 19. 